episode 3 just happened and it's kind of intense and scary for me and... For you? You already knew what for happened. Me, Are you kidding? Show. Man, true. It but, was... yeah, so we're going to talk about the recent episode, episode 3, and yeah. The first thing that happened was... We did a kind of a recap of making it into the top 14, and then um, we immediately go into the Silly String Runway Challenge, which I think <laughs> is the most ridiculous thing in the entire world. Well, can I just say that I kind of, maybe this is a stupid question, I thought it was about fashion. True. Because you guys it's are very really artistic. Close. It's very artistic. We, the first thing we did was go do hair and makeup, and... Right off the bat, the drama starts. I didn't show a lot of this, but Romeo literally was just like going back and forth to everyone, just saying like who he thinks going home, who he says is his biggest competition. Okay, pause. Did he really put a spell on Ivy? I don't know. Probably. But is it real? I don't think so. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, mm -mm -mm. We're good. So we're getting ready for the one way MSJ comes out, and that was our first time to get coached by Miss J, which was really fun, and they didn't show me, but Miss J told me, I remember this because it was the first thing, if you're going to walk like a bitch, walk like a bitch. That is great advice! I know, what's life then? Oh, I could never <laughs> that forget that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so everybody got to walk one-on-one, -on -one, like, one-on-one -on -one coaching from Miss J, and it was really interesting to see everybody walk, because we hadn't seen everybody do anything. Thus far, um, who has the best walk on that day? Who had the best walk? Do you think for me, Karia for sure? Yeah, she looked awesome, she looked amazing. Um, but she just has a strong presence, and you just like stare at her because she's just so gorgeous. Yes, um, as far as the guys, I think it was the most fun for me to watch Matthew because Miss J was just making fun of him the whole time because <laughs> he walks with this like this. Swag going on. Swag. That was so just, funny. It was just really entertaining. Miss um, Jane has great impersonations of all of y'all, by the oh way. Oh my god, I know. Like, hysterical. We need to put together a reel of, like, just Miss J doing your impersonations of her. Oh god. It's awesome. And then we get ready for the runway. And I don't know about you, but being naked in front of people, it's not just something what? that I love to do. You wouldn't be, like, a nudist? No. I like... Really? You wouldn't go to like a nude beach? I would do that. Yeah, that'd be so fun. But people aren't looking at you. It's just your thing. Yeah. I'm on a stage with silly string and nothing else. Yeah, I really like that. And people are staring right at you. Close up on your crotch there. It was like Will's crotch to the face. <laughs> oh, pan it open to your face. When I rewatched that, I thought that was so funny. So Wait, because so you're wearing mean. like thongs? What are you, what are you wearing we're wearing thongs. The girls have like it's pretty much just nipples. string. They like we had a. T <laughs> they no, they didn't have anything on. What? The girls didn't have anything on their nipples. <gasps> but we had they had we had to like tape down the sides of it because it was literally just like a piece of cloth. That's awesome. Hanging from our puhani. Nether regions. <laughs> they were laid out on a table and it was just a string bikinis for men, and we, all of us were like, what in the heck? This is not going to contain anything. <laughs> fun. But the runway, it was fun. It was interesting. Because we got to watch everybody go. There was a TV screen for all yeah. of us that hadn't gone yet. So we literally got to see everyone go. And we didn't know that we were going to be sprayed I was just about to ask so you. Sure. We did not Keith? know at all. Okay, what a stud. He just like kept walking like, no big deal. I completely expected that, but I didn't think that y'all did. Yeah, we didn't know that that was going to happen. So we thought we were just going to be, you know, doing our own thing on the runway. And then all of a sudden it's just like swarms of silly string coming on you. And like the whole time I'm just like, you know, trying to make it, I don't even know. Pretty. Fun. Yeah. And not look like I'm a hot damn mess. With the slishing in my face, because it was just a lot to handle. No, overall, it was very interesting, is a good word. Are you happy or disappointed with your score, or what did you feel like? Do you feel like you deserved a 7? Um, I th for me, it was like the first time to ever do something on the runway, besides the first one we did. Okay. There was judging behind it, and there was like a goal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you're trying to impress someone. For their first one, it really wasn't that big of a deal because it was just kind of for fun you're there. Um, 
but I didn't really know what I was doing. Yeah, so you're like, whatever so I, just, I mean, I just kind of did my thing, and I think that having Next, the Alexis, the guy who's uh, in charge of Next there, to judge us made it a little harder for me because the way that I was walking was not something that they would normally pick. I was, I was walking ask, very, not feminine, but just like... It was m more feminine than, than like the other right, guys. Right, Did right, you right. decide, yeah. like, beforehand, are you... No, I mean, I knew, I just wanted to be, I just wanted to do my thing. That's I didn't want to, like, step into something that I'm not. So, I think that had a lot to do with it, with him being there. If he wasn't, he wouldn't have been there, I think I would have done a little bit better. Just because it wasn't... He was looking for a certain thing, yeah. and I didn't fit that certain thing, so I think that's what hurt me a little bit. But It's always going to be something like that, though. Right. You're not going to be what everybody's looking for. Right. Just what most everybody's looking for. I am what everyone's looking yeah, for. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> but, seven, I was okay with the seven. Yeah. It was the first time, the first thing to yeah. do was the seven. What about everybody else when the scores came up? Everyone was pretty close. I mean, there was four of us that got a seven, there was like four that got an eight, one that got a 9, one that got a 10, and then two got a 6. So it was very neck and neck. So from that, we still didn't have any idea who was in danger or what was going to happen because it was still really, really close. Um, so I think walking away from the first challenge, we were like, I don't know what to expect because everybody's pretty even. Yeah. Except, I mean, having a 6 for Adam and Ivy is probably a little bit worse. Yeah. Just because it's a little She's bit more nerve-wracking because you have one point less than yeah. everybody else. So you know you have to do at least one point better than... That person. So now we go and we're doing the water thing and everyone's drowning and trying to look super hot while you're drowning. How is that? Talk about that. I hate cold water more than anything. The second to last one to go um, and they had the warm water in the beginning and then as they kept scooping oh, it up and dumping it, it got a lot colder because it was February 40 okay. degrees outside, so it was just getting colder and colder and colder as the time went on. So it was my turn. It was so cold. And so right when it hit me, I just remember being like, <gasps> like the breath. Yeah. I didn't breathe the whole time the first water bucket was going because I was just literally in shock because it was so cold. Pretty much did the ice bucket challenge before anyone Free. else. Yeah. Um, so I just looked like I was drowning, which I was because I was just... Yeah. Yes. Oh wait, rewind. Watching Tyra do that live, oh were you God. losing your mind watching that? Yeah. I was so shocked. We she all... Phenomenal. We, it was... Oh my God, it was so amazing because we walk into this place where the water is coming down and she's already going when we walk in. Like she's doing it and we're walking in and we're just like, oh my God, what is happening? And literally, all, no one said a word. We were just standing there watching and all of us just like... Yes. The whole time because everything she was doing was perfect. She's a genius. And she was directing herself. Like they were filming her, but she was telling them what she's going to do. And she did it and it was perfect. Like she was giving the direction to everyone. It was just like this woman did everything. A highlight of the first couple of days. Yeah, there. It was amazing. I can tell on your face when you're really excited, and then I can also tell on your face when you're really annoyed. It's very slight. But I think I know you well enough. Me, I was second last to go. We got three buckets, which they don't show. They only show you doing like maybe one uh, or two. But we got three, and I did the first one, and it was rough. It was really rough. But that was kind of for everybody. The first bucket was kind of get used to it. I highly doubt anyone's shot came from their first bucket. And the second bucket for me was the best one because I got it together. I like started doing my own thing, and that's where, the second bucket is when I got my shot. That's what the shot was from. The third one was still, it was still not as, it was still not the best, but it was still remained strong. I told this to you, Sai, after this episode, but I told him that being a dancer, you are used to constructive criticism, like you thrive off yeah. of like harsh, tough critiques. And so that whole time he was giving me those critiques, like everybody's like, he's being so mean to you. And in my head, it wasn't mean. Like it was helpful. He's trying to help you. Right. right. And so I never saw it as like a hateful or like get in your head type of thing because I do better when it's very tough love. Just because that's how I am on my dance kids and that's how my mom has been on me when I was you yeah. know, younger. So. And look how you turned out. I think I'm okay. You're all right. You are right. Yeah. But ended up getting the shot. Which is awesome. Can we talk about that picture for a second? 
Thanks, I like it a lot. Tyra loves that picture. Thanks. The other two Tyra. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ty. Yeah, so I got the lowest score from Kelly, a five, ever. Um, but when Kelly Catrone gives you a score, regardless of what it is, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're no kidding. You're like, thank you, thank you. Thanks for a one. Yeah. I love the picture that they picked for me, and I thought it was pretty good. So that's all that matters. And Tyra loved it, and Miss J in the middle. I think for them, it was just like you have more potential than this. Yeah. And that shot was an accident, like it wasn't planned, which is something they don't talk about, but it, it was an accident. It just happened when I was, you know, doing the water thing. What have other people said to you about it? I'm sure you've got a lot of comments on that picture. What it, what's this? It's very like? polarized. Like everyone's yeah. like, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. And some of them are like, I don't understand why your eyes close. I don't like it. Yeah. But it's very like, I love it or I hate it. It's not like, it's okay. Did I tell you I've been practicing? Oh, just to do your act? Yeah, okay, wait. Oh, if I'm smiling, I won't go with it. I kind of do I. <laughs> I think I'm getting good. Well, do you want me to get it? <laughs> <laughs> Assisted <laughs> all the way. <laughs> do you want me to get it? What are your friends for? Interesting thing about my shoot is that I only saw one other person do it. Who? Yeah. Uh, Matthew. Where were you? Matthew and Matthew. I, no, I saw two. I saw Matthew and Chantel. Because I went right after Chantel. Um, but they would only bring us into the room three at a time. So the first three went, which was like Rayleigh, Ben, and somebody else. And then the other, like it was just three at a time. And then um, I was the last group of three. It was me and Mariana. She was last. And then I don't know who the other one was. I can't remember. But I didn't get to see anybody else do it. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have a... Idea. idea of what I was getting into, what I've gathered from everyone, we just talked about how everyone did, it was more of a, the first one sucked, the second one was okay, and the third one was like, okay, I got it together. Yeah. For everybody. Rough. That was a rough shoot, especially the first one to be like drenched in water and not able to breathe the whole time. But I really liked everyone's shot, almost. Um, um, there really wasn't one shot that I was like, that's awful. I didn't like a couple of shots. I, no, I didn't like a lot I of them, think but... that Lennox was perfect and her shot was the best. I agree. I mean... 100% agree. And then, I mean, but that's true of every single shot that she takes in true. this entire competition. True. To Straight that. up. <laughs> I didn't like Chantel's as much, which a few of us have talked about, because she didn't look like she was modeling high fashion, which, I mean... I don't know. Your thing was an accident, yeah, but it just looked yeah. so, so epic. I don't know. I watched her. It was just a lot. It was a hot mess. And she looks great in the picture. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I don't know. She, she looks, looks amazing. She's a great body. Um, yes. But she had already been complaining that her hair, when it gets full, when it gets yeah. full of water, it gets really thick, and like it would take a long time for it to, you know, dry, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so. She walks onto set, and before we go to the photo shoot, we are told that we cannot go talk to Tyra. We cannot go to her. She doesn't exist when we're at photo shoots Whew. because it's you side. Everything's you side, and that mm -hmm. she just doesn't she, do your thing. The first thing she does, she goes straight up to Tyra behind the computer screen, and she just tries to talk to her. She's like, I need to talk to you. About her hair? Yes, yeah, about her hair. And Tyra's like, I'm not here. You can't talk to me. And so she pushes, like, shoves Chantel out of the way. Chantel walks back onto set. And Yusai's like, What's, what was that about? Yeah. So he just gave her it, like, a, a mouthful. Because he was just like, you can't just yeah. go over there by her hair. And then it, and then it panel, they also don't show this. Tyra confronted her and said, you go to a, a shoot, and they tell you to do something, and you, like, behave that way or act that way, that's not, that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. And she was like, your hair is fine, it's gonna be fine. Like we, there's the best in the business that are gonna help you. Yeah. So don't worry about it and they're doing everything they can to make sure you're okay. But I didn't like her shot, I didn't like Denzel's that much. I actually kinda arms. did. I actually kinda did. They were like, who was it? was it, did they say that or were we talking about him being an underwear model? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but he, that picture was awesome. Yeah. I, I didn't like uh, 
Shies as much. I don't think. I didn't like her. It wasn't the best that she's ever done. But yeah, so there was some really good, those bad ones. And then. But we get to go to the house. Yes, oh my gosh. And everyone gets wasted. I did it. I had my classy drink of wine. And but did you see the view? Drinks. Yes, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. To, to uh, like be able to see that every day, like wake up to it and then go eat dinner by it. Oh my god, it was so crazy. That's so it was, awesome. It was so beautiful. That's surreal. I hate that word. Really? Yeah. So anyways, everybody gets wasted. Why, why, I'm just curious about, we gotta talk about Mariana and Matthew for like one second because I forgot that that happened, but. So did I, because it. It was like 2.5 seconds. Oh, really? Yeah. It was I like feel two like days. they dragged that on for like no, it a was, large part of the episode. It happened all within two days of filming. Okay. And then she was done with it. Okay. But she start, I like to start, ha ha, start. Yeah. With everybody. <laughs> Gosh, she, she just, just. She was just getting a little crunk, you know? What? Just a little crunk. Oh. A little bit. You going home, you going home. <laughs> no, you going home. All of us were kind of uh, <laughs> annoyed with Adam because he was very intoxicated and he was just yeah. doing... She's just the one that said something She's good enough and she, was just, she, she took one about it the wrong way, but she was the one that said something, but he was getting out of hand. But she continues to start crap for many days after that. Just with with everyone. him? Just oh. everyone. Just everyone. And her and Romeo were like the dynamic duo of mean for, mean? Like, for a while. Uh -oh. Um, but, I mean, the house is gorgeous, and we weren't there for about a day, and then we have to go to panel to see who goes home. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Mm. Panel. Dun, um, dun, dun. that was, was scary. Rough one. I'll tell you. It was terrifying. We because, were freaking out. Because when you go up there and get your scores from the judges, you kind of start adding up numbers in your head, and so you kind of just think about everyone's as you like walk away to let the judges deliberate um so we knew who the bottom three were yeah we had already figured out who the bottom three were and i was in it and i just was freaking out okay bottom two shy gets the third to the last spot and i'm you know chilling in bottom two with my precious ivy who's beautiful by the way i love so love beautiful. her so so I much love her here. But I think that going into panel, I knew that we had a tie score for judges' votes. But she had gotten a six in the challenge, and I had gotten a seven. So I knew that if our social media was anywhere within one point, and I was point one over, I was in. So I was a little bit more stable than I probably would have been not knowing the numbers. And so for a lot of us, it wasn't a shock that Abby went home just because of the events of the week um, but it was still like oh god the first one's gone this is real now we don't have that person and we like them we thought they were great so no matter how great you are get them to go home <laughs> you go to go home that's scary no. how nerve wracking but I'm just very glad to be out of the bottom two and still top 13 yes but I, I love that she her comment what did she say um right after she was eliminated i don't know she was just really positive and yeah that's how she's she just so sweet so she's so sweet and i love love me some ivy but moving on to next week i know can you give us any hints it's gonna be awesome i'm ready to see the freaking opening credits for yes oh and 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 makeovers makeovers yes and someone gets a beard weave that's unfortunate. It sounds terrible. <laughs> it might just be terrible. It is terrible. So, Monday, 9 8 Central on the CW. Watch me on America's Next Time Model. You're gonna be great. I hope so. I have faith in you. Turn um, your YouTube channel to us on Tuesdays when we post our recap. Thanks for watching and keep on supporting us. Him, more. I'm just here for a comic relief. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks and get